All right, everybody. So I thought I'd bring you along, kind of show you what I did with the um, hoses and moving the tank in the V-berth area. They go to the black water tank and also to my Y valves and macerator pump and kind of give you just a rundown of what I did. And um, that way somebody that's not familiar with this system can maybe understand it a little bit better. So I'm going to show it. My light might be in the way here, but I think you guys can get the picture. So this right here is my supply water to my head, to my toilet, okay? Um, I've got a Japsco manual pump toilet. This will supply water to the toilet, and then this is the discharge coming out of the toilet, all right? Now, from there, you've got it going to a Y valve right here. And if you're somewhere where you can actually pump it overboard, say on the um, coastal areas, you can all you have to do is switch it to the overboard side and then it will actually pump directly overboard whenever you flush your toilet all right so but that's not what we're at okay we are definitely inland so what it does is i keep it on the blackwater tank side and i put these new hoses on here and these are not your regular sanitary waste only hoses um we actually use these a lot at work, um, a different size than this, but this is for agriculture. So if you live in the Midwest and there's a real king around or a tractor supply, most likely you can go there and pick up this hose. And it's relatively cheap. I think it's uh, less than $2 a foot. If I'm not, I think like $1.89 or something like that. But it is, we use it for uh, spraying chemicals at work, highly corrosive chemicals and it lasts a long time and it does a great, great job. And what's nice is it can handle some um, pretty good pressure, but also since there's gonna be a suction side on this, uh, the black water tank from your, uh, to get a pump out, it's actually got these built-in ribs so that it is, it's very, very stiff hose. But what is super nice about it, it's actually transparent. You can actually see through it if necessary. And that is really, really nice. Number one, you know what your waste is doing because you can actually see through it. And uh, so that's gonna help out. So a very good cheap option instead of buying a marine grade sanitary hose. Um, and uh, you can buy it by the foot and you get whatever, how many feet you want. So anyhow, um, so it goes from here, all this hose up to the black water tank here. And I do have an 18 gallon um, holding tank and it does have a, um, a marine sensor in there as well so that it will actually um, throw an alarm when this system starts to get too high, which is really nice. It does have an access uh, right here that you can unscrew and actually get in here if you need to, to get that cleaned out for some reason. Here's your vent hose coming off of your holding tank and it goes right through here, and then it vents right to the side of the boat, okay? Now, whenever you go to have a pump out, or like I said, you're in an area where you can actually use your macerator pump and pump it directly overboard, it's real simple. Um, this Y valve right here says out to deck, all right? So this right here is when I'm doing a pump out, I'll show up at the marina, and this this valve will be located in this position and then it pumps directly from my holding tank from this hose which goes to the bottom of my tank and will pump it directly up into their pumping system to get a pump out all right now this is where if you need to you can use your macerator pump here okay and it will when you kick your macerator pump on which is located right here it will suck from the tank to this side and then pump directly into the macerator pump and then the macerator pump, it goes directly overboard, okay? So you've got a couple different options on this boat here. You can either pump it manually straight from the toilet by switching this and it will go directly overboard if you need to. Okay, now if you need to use your macerator pump, 
then you'll just simply put it to the macerator side and kick on your pump and it pumps directly overboard so anyhow i thought i'd bring you all along kind of show you a little bit of what i've done and uh i did move my black water tank up here it was located down in this area but now this is going to be a huge nice area not for sure exactly what i'm going to put here um I might be putting in a, another freshwater tank to increase my freshwater capacity. So this can be very helpful. So if you guys got any questions, just uh, ask me down below in the comments. I sure do appreciate it. And uh, man, I try to get to everybody that asks a question. Not necessarily that I know everything, because I don't. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I can help somebody else out. So anyhow, just a cheap option of buying some cheaper hose. Just go to an ag store. Go to the chemical hose section and you can pick this up. This is a inch and a half hose right here. That's what I'm running. And this is a three quarter inch bent hose. And this is a three quarter inch supply line that actually supplies raw water to my toilet. So, all right, everybody, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. God bless you guys. And we will catch you later with many more boat trip projects and a lot of trips and a little bit of everything else. See y'all. Catch you later. Bye.